guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. As many of you know, I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and I have all kinds of questions coming up to me in just about all kinds of subjects. A popular one that we actually already talked about that before, but I want to touch bases on that again is cash transactions, especially square cash transactions. So how does it work when you record your cash transactions from Square, but then you end up not depositing exactly the same thing. That's what we're going to talk about today. And we're also going to talk a little bit more extended on how to use your petty cash account, how to record for transactions, even if they, those are not from Square. All right, without, for, uh, without much further ado, here we go. Uh, here we are. QuickBooks Online. Um, first of all, to create a bank account for your cash transaction, you want to go on the left hand side, go accounting, and then plus new. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> okay, you're going to create a bank account, select bank, select uh, checking, and here you can call. Um, or I'm sorry select cash on hand and here you can call petty cash or cash at hand whatever you want to call it I already have one I'm not gonna create another one uh, once you create here I, I still have zero balance I haven't recorded anything on the cash transaction uh, but we're gonna talk about that right now so first of all when when you send transactions when you send cash transactions from Square into QuickBooks, it's going to go to what we call undeposited funds or the uh, deposit deposits not or uh, paid on deposits. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's a new name for that right now, but it's the same thing. It means undeposited funds and undeposited funds. How it works is that money goes in and then it comes out. So it's just a holding account. So for instance, especially if I have um, multiple customers paying me, now I have multiple, uh, multiple invoices or payments, um, and I will record everything into undeposited funds. And then when I actually take that money and take it to the bank, I'll record it, uh, uh, the deposit with the exact amount and the date that I actually deposit in the bank. Now, with cash, sometimes uh, the money that you deposit is not exactly the same as what you receive. So we're going to talk about that as well. All right. And maybe, you know, some of the money you spend paying people, whatever it is, uh, that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, first of all, uh, like I said, when Square sent transactions, it's going to go to undeposited funds and in order to record the deposit into the cash account you want to click on the plus new on the top, top left hand side and then you click on bank deposit all undeposited funds will be sitting in there okay and that's where all payments should go undeposited funds or payments on deposit that's the name of the new account by the way payments on deposit same thing on deposit funds payment on deposit it's an asset account by the way and like i said it's kind of like a clearance money in and it will come out all right so we have a couple of uh, deposits here so let's suppose that this these are cash transactions so how do i record this payment i can select the transaction now here on the deposit it will automatically select the last account that I use you want to make sure that you change that so how do you do it uh, bring your mouse to the the top uh, left hand side where it says checking click on the arrow and you're gonna select the petty cash account there it is okay all right see that whoa we're gonna record and we're gonna do save and new because I have one more. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Um, hmm. See that the date is gonna auto-populate with today's date, but 
this deposit was made on the 22nd of July so you want to before you uh, save it you want to make sure you change the date now if you made a mistake like me hey no problem easy to fix uh, see the top the counter clock on the top left hand side you click over there it's gonna show you the last deposit that you just made see that and then we can go ahead and change it to July 22nd uh, we want to make sure everything else is fine here and we're gonna save and new okay same same thing here all right we're gonna change the date to July 22nd uh, and we're gonna go to the petty cash and we can do save and close right now so all the money this is cash transactions and I didn't deposit exactly what was sent to the petty cash I may have had some expense so how do you record now if you go to the petty cash account you see that there is a balance over there of two thousand sixty two dollars and fifty two cents okay there's money in there because if you click on view register you see that those are the two transactions that we just recorded into the cash account now um, let's suppose that I pay employees um, pay tips out of the cash account so how to record that on the left hand side you want to click on the plus new we're gonna click on expense and I'm gonna select the pay uh, let's see books by Bats Betsy whatever it, it is you want to make sure the payment account is the petty cash account you want to check you you want to select the right account so on the category um, I'll put I don't know let's say contractors yeah actually it might be under subcontractors no it's not it's under cost of labor there it is okay this is a sample account so things are a little different here sometimes right um, you got your customer if the customer here if this is a billable expense like if you're accruing this in behalf of a customer so you don't have to put this here I'm just gonna put the description here uh, paid contractor contractor for uh, lucky lucky oh, lucky account whatever it is right just a little note the note is for you for your information and I'm gonna say here that I pay a hundred dollars okay you can put the details of the product but I don't need I just need to record the transaction itself and we're gonna do save and close and I, I selected that cash account now I have two deposits and one payment means one came out came out of the cash account now let's suppose I went to the bank and then I deposit some of the money not everything some of the money and I don't want very important I don't want to categorize these transactions as uh, sales because I already recorded that on the petty cash account I already recorded that, that was a sale so here I just want to record that this is a transfer that came from the cash account into the checking account so I select the transaction I want to record as a transfer and I'm gonna select that petty cash account okay I'm gonna do the same with this transaction over here and what this is saying is that I'm taking money out of the cash, petty cash and I deposited it into the checking account it's not a sale and it's not gonna increase my uh, tax liability it's just gonna show that I took money from one account and I put it in another account right in this case is petty cash okay so if we go back into accounting and then chart of accounts you'll be able to 
click on view register on the petty cash account and you'll be able to see all the transactions that we just recorded here is the two deposits one for three eighty seven one for sixteen seventy five fifty two <laughs> and then the three um three expenses that i had out of the cash account right including the transfer from the straight that i recorded as straight from the checking see you just record as a transfer and it's going to record right here on the cash account that's efficiency all right so now my balance is 1707.52 i check my pop my pocket my my petty cash funds and that matches if it doesn't match maybe you took some money out of the account you can record as owner's distribution if that's the case or you can record as other expense now to record as uh, let's suppose you took some of the money you kept some for yourself after all you work hard you get yourself paid from the business we can record as a transfer right and we can say that we took money out of the petty cash account and we we don't have an owner's pay account but I can create that I can create right from here I'm gonna say add new and it's an equity account by the way it means that it goes to the balance sheet it doesn't go to your profit and loss it just shows that you are taking money out of the company as a pay that's it okay here is owner's distribution that's one of them so you can call it partner distribution or owner's distribution right or owner's equity and then person or personal expense that is one way as well right personal pay or pay personal uh contribution so we're gonna save and close we're gonna call it personal expense and we're gonna say that i took five hundred dollars and out of the petty cash and I send it to personal expense and I'm gonna save and close and here is the new balance is 1207.52 everything is accounted for and uh, if everything looks good you can reconcile uh, to reconcile you click over here 1207.52 is the amount um, we can put the 1207.52 and as end date i'm gonna put as july 31st and start reconciling keep in mind when reconciling account you want to select everything right want to make sure that everything is accounted for oh wait a minute oh i have a transaction that i recorded after this I'm gonna edit this information. I can change it to today's date because that's I think that's what the the transaction was recorded. Yep, right here. Okay, now I didn't put the right amount, but I can change this. So I I said twelve oh seven fifty two. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm using two different screens, and in order to do that, you just have to bring your mouse all the way to the top, right click, and duplicate, right? So if there is a difference when you're reconciling, you want to take a look at the at the um, um, at the account. So you, accounting chart of accounts, and then you you can view register. Let's see what's going on here. So we are missing this transaction here, the $55, and it's because it's recorded for the wrong date. See that? <laughs> we are going to click on edit, and we're gonna change this date because it auto-populate and we didn't change it. So usually that's why, if you feel that there is something missing here. From right from here, I can click on reconcile on the top right-hand side. It's gonna bring me back to the reconciliation page okay might take a little while there it is now I have that $55 difference see that everything is accounted for and I really like to reconcile my cash account the reason why is because you want to make sure that everything is accounted for right 
uh, especially with cash. You want to make sure that any sales recorded into cash account, any expense is recorded. Um, if not, you can definitely lose track of what's going on with your cash account. I had clients that came to me and they had a complete mess on their cash account. Once everything started to make sense and uh, we, we build a process, everything looked good and he was super satisfied with that because if you if you manage it well, it shouldn't take too much work to uh, to reconcile and to make sure everything is accounted for. You can click on finish, and there you go. That's how you manage your cash account all the way from uh, issuing deposit into the cash account, expenses, and reconciliation. Hope this was useful, and I am so happy that you stayed all this time, you spent all this time with me today, it makes me happy. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We like to come back on a constant basis with the most up-to-date information on QuickBooks Online, free tutorials. Where else can you find all kinds of free materials uh, that you can use to educate yourself and make sense of your finances so you, you can take your business to the next level <laughs> makes me happy so if you have any questions uh, just write down below um, your question if you want to cover another subject in the future write down below we'll make sure that we'll cover that in the near future thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon and until next time Keep on smiling.